Hey guys, it's the Drummer Gordo here, and today I'll be showing you this stick flip in slow motion. And I'm kind of actually excited to see it myself because, I don't know, I can't see it. When I play it, I can't really see what I'm doing. It just kind of feels good and works. So it'll be interesting to see like, uh, like frame by frame what my hand actually does when I'm doing this uh, stick flip. But before we get into that, I'll just uh, show people how to do it again. I did like a video a while ago, years ago I think, um, explaining this trick. Um, but it was a long time ago, so I just thought I'll put a, another fresh explanation of the trick in here for people that uh, want to try it themselves and learn it. So this, the first person I saw doing this uh, stick flip was Larry Wright, another bucket drummer from uh, New York. One of my biggest inspirations for bucket drums. So that's that's pretty much it. Now this stick flip, the main difference that it has with uh, normal stick throws like this, you know, you just throw the stick up uh, like a 360 or like 720, couple of 12s, and then you catch it. So the main difference it has is that in normal stick throws, you wait for the stick to come back. You kind of throw it up and it lands back down in your hand. But with the flip, you play once and you flip it and then you play again. And to get it really fast, you have to flip it up at quite a, quite a high speed. So if you don't catch it, the stick keeps going. That's the main difference. If I don't catch it, it keeps going. So it may be a little bit more dangerous than a normal throw. But, but because you have more velocity, you can get it a lot faster. And you can get triplets like right, left, left, right, left, left. Ooh. Or you can do doubles, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. So you go right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Like that, just doubles. So that's basically it. You play once or twice, and then you kind of flip it around in your hand like that. So normally you might hold the drumstick about at the end of the stick like this. But when you're doing the flip, it's a bit easier if you've got a bit more room down here and you're further up the stick. Because when you stick the flip, when you stick the flip, when you flip the stick, uh, it'll flip around and you'll grab the, this other section. So these two parts, I don't know if you can see that, these two parts, it's kind of where you're gripping it every time. And it's still, even though you've got like excess drumstick at the bottom here, and it may not be the, the perfect balance, it's still enough that you can play like a high velocity, like uh, rhythms. You know, so it's, it's not hindering you that much. Like if you had to hold the stick in the middle, it would kind of hit, hinder you. But with the good thing about the stick flip is you can get like fast rotations. Um, you can get fast rotations and go straight back into playing like uh, like complex rhythms. Okay, now I'll just play it again on the side just so you can get a better idea. So that's the left hand. Just flipping like that. It's the right hand. Oop. And then both hands. And then you can do like triplets. <laughs> so the main point is when you're throwing it up, there's a bit of extra velocity and you gotta catch it in midair and push it back down. When I practice it, I imagine like, uh, like I, watch, I watch a lot of anime, okay? So if you watch like, <laughs> if you watch like Dragon Ball and in the fight scenes often, you have like a Goku kick someone up in the air and while they're still shooting up in the air, like being kicked in the stomach or something, they're shooting up in the air, Goku will like almost teleport above them and then like he'll have his hands clenched like this and you'll like slam them back down into the ground. That's kind of how I imagine it. So you're putting them up with more velocity 
that if you didn't teleport there and smack him back down, that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Imagining yourself as an anime character while you practice is a very efficient way of practicing. So that's how you play it. Now let's see what it looks like in slow motion. So what I've got going here is uh, I got my normal camera filming in 17% uh, speed, so slow motion, and then I got a GoPro here. This will be filming in uh, normal speed in 60 frames per second. So I've got the two cameras, and this is where the science happens, right here. So yeah, hopefully I can get a good angle. I'm just realizing now that my, um, my legs might be in the way of the shot, but we'll see how we go.